Hi! For my series about GNU slash Linux and Ethernet, I want to build up some PCBs. And one important component of these PCBs is a microcontroller from WISNET. And as I already had some contact with WISNET and I got some free evaluation boards from them, I reached out for them and asked them if they would donate some samples of this microcontroller for me. And they really did. Yes. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank you WISNET for supporting my work here. That's really cool. But together with the samples I requested, they also sent me this cool evaluation board here. This board features one of their latest chips, the W55RP20. In today's video, I want to present this chip and this evaluation board to you. So let's take a look at WISNET's documentation webpage. So WISNET is basically a company which is building hardwired TCP IP controllers. A very famous controller of them is the W5500. This is basically a SPI to Ethernet adapter, or this can be used as a SPI Ethernet adapter, but it also has a completely set up TCP IP stack built into hardware. So for a microcontroller, it's very easy to use sockets, for example, or TCP IP sockets when using this Ethernet controller. And they also have a quite close cooperation with the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and they're building different hardwares with the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. So here you can see one of their boards, which is featuring an RP2040 microcontroller and a W5500 chip here. And for the Raspberry Pi Pico, we also need a QSPY flash for code storage. And this is the chip you can see here on this side. So here in total you have three different chips you have to solder on a PCB to get the whole system running. And so they came up with the idea, hey, it would be cool if you could integrate these three chips here into one single package. And the result of this idea was the W55RB20. So in this package here, we have three different silicium dies with three different chips. So first, of course, we have our RP2040 microcontroller. We have a two megabyte SPI or QSPY flash, and we have the W5500 SPI to Ethernet controller. And all of this in one single, pack single package. So this is called system in a package here. And this is quite cool because it simplifies the PCB design. So before we had to lay out three different chips, but now, as we can see it here on the W55RB20 evaluation board, we just have one single chip which contains, or one single package which contains all three chips. And this makes the design a lot easier. So, and the cool thing is, if we take a look at the pinout, we have basically all the pins available like on the Raspberry Pi Pico, but we have some extra pins for um, the Ethernet connection we gain and we have some pins for here, for example, for the activity LED or stuff like that. And this package here is 9 millimeters by 9 millimeters in size. For example, the original RP2040 chip has 8 millimeters by 8 millimeters. So the chip is not much bigger, but has much more functionality built into it. Also, the evaluation board is quite cool because the original Raspberry Pi Pico evaluation board comes with an old micro USB Type-B connector. But this one here has a newer USB-C connector. And another cool thing is that we have two buttons available here. So one button is the boot select or boot mode select button over which we can decide if we want to boot the RP2040 microcontroller from the QSPY flash or for, from USB. And the second one is a reset button, which is missing on the original Raspberry Pi Pico boards. So this is also a cool thing. So this chip here can be interested for you if you want to use a Raspberry Pi Pico together with Ethernet, or also if you want to design a very small PCB with um, a very small PCB where you don't want to lay out the SPI flash. 
Yeah, so that's a really cool chip. And another cool thing is you can use um, the, or if you want to write software for the W55RB20, you can use the standard Raspberry Pi Pico SDK. So let me give you a small example. Here in my programming folder, I have a folder called Hello Pi, and I have the Pico SDK in it, which you can see here. So this Hello Pi is a simple Hello World application which will print out Hello World every now and then and also toggles the onboard LED of this board. And yeah, you can see basically this is just a basic source code as you would get with the Raspberry Pi or when using the Raspberry Pi Pico C SDK. And I've already compiled everything and in build we have our Hello Pi UF2 file which we can flash on the controller. So now let me press the boot select button and connect the USB-C cable here. Okay. And now if I take a look into my file manager, I can see this new Raspberry Pi and Pico volume here. And when I copy um, the Hello Pi UF2 file, to um, the Raspberry Pi Pico, the Qs by flash will be updated, and yeah, now we can see the LED here is blinking. So if you only want to use the basic functionality of the Raspberry Pi Pico, you can use the Pico SDK, but if you want to make advantage of the W5500 chip built into this package, Wisnet is also, um, yeah, has also some examples for this laid out here, which you can find here in firmware examples. So these are links to Wisnet's GitHub repositories. And over here we have various examples for using different Ethernet protocols, basically. Like MQTT here or for running an, an, H, an HTML server, for example, and all this stuff. So yeah, this is a quite cool and impressive chip. Once again, I want to say thank you Wisnet for providing this cool board to me. Maybe in later videos, I will show you how to run some of them or some of these examples on the W55RB20. But I guess that for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.